Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and War. Today we're going to be talking about Texas City in Warren, Illinois. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. My and for more videos you. like this, watch my other house <laughs> channel, a and Snakes and Stuff. Blah, 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 blah. My youngest son's channel, Annie's Toys and Games. Or my oldest son's channel, Little Christmas. My channel. We'll be back. Now let's I'll dive into the video. I got to show something funny. Last night on national TV, the leader of Texas sent a stern warning to the land of Lincoln. Here is what he had to say. According to an article from ABC of Chicago, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, warned Illinois that the state of Texas would continue to bus migrants to the land of Lincoln. The warning came during Greg Abbott's speech at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. What exactly did he say? We have continued busing migrants to sanctuary cities all across the country. Those buses will continue to roll until we finally secure our border, is the quote from Greg Albot in the article on ABC Chicago. The article goes on to say 44,874 migrants have been transported to Chicago since August 2022. Of those, nearly 40,000 have arrived by bus. And nearly 5,000 have arrived on flights at O'Hare. In Midway, the article also mentioned that leaders in Illinois and Chicago have asked for more money from the U.S. government to deal with the migrant crisis in the state. To read more on this warning from Texas Governor Greg Albach, click here. I don't blame the governor of Texas for busing and sending migrants to states that are sanctuary states and cities that are sanctuary cities. Texas is on the front lines of the border crisis in this country. And if there are states that will welcome these people with open arms, I get why Texas is sending these migrants to these places, the better question is, should states like Illinois be sanctuary states? And why don't we have secure borders with safe, effective ways to allow good immigrants into this country? Just saying the names of these towns immediately conjures up images of grand mansions, luxury cars, and richie restaurants. No. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.